this lesson, we're going to talk about the types of nutrition. As a reminder, nutrition is how living things turn food into nutrients required for continuous metabolic reaction. There are two types of nutrition and they include autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition. In autotrophic nutrition, organisms are able to manufacture their food. These organisms are called autotrophs or sometimes they are called producers. Now these organisms produce food from inorganic raw materials like carbon dioxide and water that is present in the surrounding. Examples of autotrophs include plants, algae, plankton, and some bacteria. Now the word autotroph is gotten by combining two Greek words, autos, which means cell, and trophos, which means food. Plant cells require mineral salts or elements. Now, these mineral salts are obtained from the soil in the form of solutions so that plants can grow and develop properly. The soil is the main source of mineral salts, while gaseous elements like oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon are mainly derived from the atmosphere. Plant nutrients are grouped into two classes depending on the quantity that is required by the plant. So we have macronutrients or major elements and we have micronutrients or trace elements. Macronutrients are required by the plant in large quantity. Now examples are nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, calcium, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, sulfur and iron. Now, micronutrients or trace elements are required by the plant in small quantities. So, examples are zinc, copper, boron, molybdenum, cobalt, chlorine, and manganese. There are two types of autotrophic nutrition, mainly photosynthetic or holophytic nutrition and chemosynthetic nutrition. Photosynthetic nutrition is when green plants manufacture their own food from simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight. Chemosynthetic nutrition is when organisms synthesize organic materials using energy derived from the oxidation of inorganic chemicals rather than from sunlight so heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition is the opposite of autotrophic nutrition as organisms in this group cannot manufacture their own food but depend on autotrophs for their food so they eat already produced food organisms which cannot manufacture their own food are called heterotrophs now, the word heterotrophs is gotten by combining two Greek words, heteros and trophos. Heteros means different and trophos means food. Most animals, fungi, protozoa, and some bacteria belong to this group. And there are four types of heterotrophic nutrition, and they are holozoic nutrition, parasitic nutrition, saprotrophic nutrition, and symbiotic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition. This is a kind of heterotrophic nutrition where organisms take in solid food. And this method is also called ingestive nutrition. The food consumed may either be from another organism or from a plant. There are three different types of holozoic organisms and they are classified based on the type of food they consume. They are carnivores, which eat only meat or flesh, herbivores, which eat only plants, and omnivores, which eat both plants 
and flesh. Parasitic nutrition is when organisms live on or inside other organisms and derive their food from them. These organisms are called parasites. Saprotrophic nutrition. Now this is when organisms derive their food from dead and decaying organisms. These organisms are called saprotrophs. And saprotrophs help in cleaning the environment by decomposing the dead and decaying organic matter. And finally, we have symbiotic nutrition. And this is when two organisms of different species live together and derive nutrients or food from each other. Mm -hmm.